Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I just come with a quick little message, y'all. Y'all, everybody who betrayed you, you've been dealing with betrayal all your life. That betrayal, you've been dealing with people stealing from you. You've been dealing with people just doing you all kind of ways. God is here now to restore what was stolen for you, to give you back what your family and the enemy took from you. A lot of y'all had to go through unnecessary struggles that you didn't even have to go through. Financial issues, trying to make a way out of no way, working hard and doing all this when it wasn't made for you to do any of that. That something was left for you that someone took for you. Someone has been doing stuff to you all your life, hurting you. Being because they're envious and jealous of you, they're trying, they, they've been tearing you down, praying on your downfall, doing all kind of stuff to you. Not only were they doing it to you, but they also were doing it to your children. But here now in this season, God is turning it around. God is allowing you to receive everything that was for you. See, you had to go through some tests, you had to go through some things, you had to find your inner strength awaken the beast within you so that you could receive the things that that the enemy had took from you see the reason why it was held off for so long because you wasn't strong in your mind you wasn't strong in your feelings you wasn't strong you didn't believe up within yourself so god knew that you would be easy manipulated Somebody would come to you and tell you a sad story and you would bless them. See, now that you have found your inner strength within you, God said it is time for you to receive what was rightfully yours, what was stolen from you years ago. God said he's restoring. You heard? God says he's revealing and he's also removing those people out of your life. God say it is his time and it is his time for you to trust in him. Trust in the unknown. Trust in what he's showing you. Trust in what you are, the visions that he's giving you. Trust that everything is going to work out in your favor. God said the lies that they told, the false documentation that they did, all these things they did for the lust of the eye and for the love of money. God said it is being revered and he is going to restore what is rightfully yours. God said be patient, hold on, wait. A change is coming. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't keep sitting down pouting. Don't keep worrying about it. God say, it's already yours. It's here. He working on it. He say, abundance. Abundance is your birthright. He said, you was born into abundance. You you are royalty. God say, you are royalty. He said, and the people that betrayed you. They was mad because you were royalty. So they did a lot through a lot of curveballs in your life. A lot of stuff you went through, a lot of pain and heartache your, your children had to receive. They went through that just to go through it because people were jealous and envious of you. People was upset that you were left something. People was mad. So those people decided to betray you. Those people decided to steal from you. Oh, but God said here and now he is exposing those people and the truth will be free. He said somebody somewhere is looking over some stuff and questioning some things. Somebody wants to know well, how, why, why would they do this? How and all the rest of that. Somebody is fighting on your behalf and you don't even know them. But they're fighting on your behalf because God has said this was enough. This was enough for you, uh, enough of you struggling, enough for you crying and enough of you uh, feeling like you're in lack of anything because you're not in lack of anything. God said those blessings that were stolen from you are being restored from you in the, in the people. You heard me? Because God said it, it, it's more than one. The people who have stolen from you, God says the guilt, the shame is eating them up. They don't know what to do or how to do. They don't know how to get this money back to you. They don't know how to, how to make you feel like you was a part of it, like you knew about it and you were, you was incompetent of having this money. You was incompetent of being able to uh, control this money. They tried to do sneaky stuff behind your back to make it feel like you wasn't worthy of this money like you wouldn't know what to take care of this money like you didn't handle your business like it was supposed to be handled like you you wasn't you wasn't um 
capable of handling that much money. But God said he is restoring it. God said, you see, because you are his, you are a chosen one. The favor of God is upon your life. He said all your life, he's been carrying you and he's been keeping you. And he said, you overcome every test and storm and valley and mountain that was set before you. You overcame it. You have found yourself worthy. You have proven to him that it don't matter what it look like and what's going on around, you're going to fight the good fight of faith. God say, because your obedience, he said, it is here and now. You have mastered your emotions. You have mastered the beast that was in you. You have mastered these things. He said, so God say, now you can receive what was ultimate yours from the beginning. He said, and those people, those people who, who tricked the system, those people who lied on your name, those people who signed your name, those people that stole your identity, those people that did those things to you, God said, those people are going to get what's coming to them. He said, there's no need for you to dwell and whip on what, how they hurt you, how they betrayed you, and how they, God say that he, they, they betrayed, he allowed them to betray you because he knew that the betrayal would get you where you needed to be. He knew that the betrayal would bring out the beast within you. God said he knew. He said, was it right? No, it wasn't right what they did or how they did. But God said he needed you 